Hi everybody, welcome back to another Jaguars in the Barn video. Um, so I've not posted for a while, I'm actually off with COVID at the moment. Um, after my children got it a couple of weeks ago, um, I've managed to pick it up as well. So I've been off work for the last week or so in self-isolation. So um, for absolutely fine, a bit of a bunged up nose, um, can't smell nothing. But other than that, absolutely fine. So fingers crossed, I'm through the worst of it. However, it does mean I've got a bit of time on my hands. So what I thought I'd come down today and just do a little look at um, the lights in my boot, um, because they don't always come on. They will do eventually. Uh, but when I put the boot, it always stays dark. And then after maybe a few seconds, after a few minutes, the lights come on. So I'm hoping um, just to take out, it's sort of like a little plunger switch on the boot lid. Um, so I'm just going to sort of have a look at that, take it apart, see if it needs a clean or whatever. But I'll just show you what I mean. If I uh, unlock the car and open up the boot, let me switch the camera around one moment. Okay, so there's the boot open, as you can see. And it just takes, well, there you go, look. It'll just come on now. So, sorry. Again, I'm in my dark barn, and we'll get some lights near one day <laughs> to make the picture better, or a light on my camera. That'd be good. But uh, as you can see there, they just sort of flicked on after a few seconds. Sometimes they don't even come on at all. Sometimes they come on, you know, a few seconds afterwards. But I think all it is is there's where the boot latches down inside here. Um, let me see if I can get in there. You can see, this is the part, it's difficult to see. I should have taken this trim off really so you can see better. But down inside here, this is the bit where the boot latches and locks. And if I push that up and down, just using my key, you can see, sort of pan out, you can see it. So I push down, and up down and up down and up so the contact <coughs> excuse me is obviously down inside the locking mechanism there so i think just a few presses of that a bit of penetrating fluid maybe i've got some over here on the bench oh that's emptier than an empty thing so um let's just grab screwdriver a minute so yeah hopefully oh it's that simple so um, yeah i think if we just clean if we try and get down in there yeah no, you can't see can you my big hands are in the way so yeah this is the part i'm on about just the bit where the uh boot locks down into it's obviously just Dirty. So yeah, we'll give that a clean up. I'm gonna get yourself a bit more um, penetrating fluid or contract uh, electrical contact cleaner. I think we should have the problem solved. So we're gonna get some more fluid, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back down the barn. I've had to um, order in some new contact cleaner because I've run out completely. I've got a light as well now, so hopefully it'll make it a bit easier inside. How dirty my car is. So if we open the boot up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They've come on, just for good measure. So as I showed before, um, all we're going to do, the camera focuses, is clean uh, the contact down in here. Um, as I tried to show you yesterday, when you push this contact down, it switches the lights on and off. Well, there you go. It's sort of stuck down again now. <clears throat> and there you go, popping back on again. So it's just a dirty contact. I did yesterday, because um, I had no contact cleaner here, I took all this trim off um, just to see if I could get better access to this. And there isn't. Basically, when you take all this panel off, it's all the metalwork underneath here with the same size hole just in the pressed steel of the boot. So it uh, made no sense to leave it off. 
So I uh, assembled it all and put it back together again. So what I have got is some contact cleaner, which has just arrived in the post. It's a pretty good service. I only ordered it yesterday. Um, and I've gone for the WD-40 specialist contact cleaner. Fast acting, non-conductive cleaner, penetrates quickly and leaves no residue for use on electrical equipment, contacts, plastic and rubber. <clears throat> so I thought that would be good for here. So if I can, one handed, I'm trying to keep some sense of focus. We're just going to squirt that get the camera on there we go try and um there we go just liberally squirt that in there and then just come back Grab my little flathead screwdriver. And we're just going to um, work this up and down a few times. And you can see that better now. And all I'm trying to do is to simulate the boot closing and opening. Just uh, try and keep it loose. <clears throat> you see how dirty it is in there? But without, I mean, the only way really, I guess, to do it would be to take all this off and then there's a couple of fixings just on the inside here which hold the lock mechanism in place would be to strip it out and to um, clean it all properly that way you may be able to notice there you go, the spring down the bottom there So, if I can, sure at the same time with me pushing it down. So, off, on. Off, on. And I think, yeah, if I just keep working it in and out like that, then hopefully... That should give me my fix. So I'll keep doing that for a little while so I can concentrate. I'll just pause the video and then we'll shut and open the boot a few times, see if they come on. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so that's the uh, last bit of the lights done. So all I've done is cleaned them up a few times on the latch. Let's take the keys out. Um, yeah, working the fluid in and out and let it evaporate away. Um, so yeah, that's another job ticked off the list. Um, the camera going to focus. There we go. So I've been waiting for that to finish off, dry. Thought I'd make me other barn door. So there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's me other door made up, or mostly made up. 
and that's obviously going to go on this side here. Same as that one. If you're wondering why there's a bit missing at the top, I've got a little infield to make there. And obviously where the join uh, will go there, that's where the other hinge will go to um, brace all together as well. So we're getting there. So another job done in lockdown or self-isolation, I should say. So um, yeah, just got a couple of braces to put on the back where the hinges go. Because obviously at the moment it's just um, screwed down through the feather board. There's no brace behind that at the moment. So we need to put another piece of 3 g behind that and brace that up. And then we're going to put a bit of bracing on the corners just to triangulate it a little bit. Stiffen it up, a bit of ply or something like that. I don't know yet. But there you go. That's a job for another day. So back to the Jag. That's another job ticked off the list. Um, those of you that have been following the channel will know I'm just putting off doing my <laughs> thermostat uh, coolant tower. Um, I've got the bit here. Um, but I've been reading up on it a lot to see what is the best method of doing it. Some people have advised me just to break it off to make it easier to get to the two back bolts. Um, I'm not so sure about that, but um, certainly couldn't saw it off because um, that'll just get debris all inside the uh, coolant system. Although I'll flush it out, there's still a lot of plastic to go inside it. So there's the part. Uh, bought from uh, David Manners Group. Uh, new O-rings and everything to go with it. But again, I'm also in two minds to do the um, little plastic manifold in front of it, the other rail, while I'm in there. But that's a job for another day. So for today, though, that's it from Jaguars in the Barn. Thanks again for watching. I will clean it, I promise. But I'm hoping Santa may be kind to me and bring me a... Um, cover for it and if that happens then that's something i can do give the car a good old clean and then uh, cover it up um in the meantime yeah get my doors done i can have a proper good tidy up in here get it looking a bit more workshop like and not a cow shed right so if i don't post before christmas uh, i wish you all a very merry christmas and a happy new year <coughs> excuse me hopefully i will though but if i don't take care everybody and we'll do another video and speak again soon. Thanks for now. Cheers.